Because of our staff members and we're helping the alumni. Trust me, guys. Yeah, this is the Shumba Day. We're hosting sports, for example, hockey, cricket. No, cricket isn't there. There's oh, hockey, no. tennis, volleyball, netball, and other sports. I would like to see the infrastructure developing. And um, I think there should be more teachers in the school. And probably our uniform mm. should improve because it's, it's not really I was Interact President 2008. I feel like that's. I need to mention that. Yeah, everywhere. you need to. I'm going to mention that everywhere. Um, 2008. I finished A level 2008 when things were tough. Tichibika, Rice, Muma, Junk. No, it's beautiful. But yes, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's still the same. We all went to the same school. We yeah. love the school. So and Lucy is true. And you are? I'm Lucy Matema. Lucy Lisa. Okay. Lucy Lisa Matema. You are always Lucy Lisa Matema, yes. Okay. I was here. I left home for 2007. I used to play basketball. I was in the provincial team. All no right. pictures. Yeah. No yeah. pictures. Yeah. Alice. Alice. Yes, yes. Yes. The very place. I used to play. We should do this like every year. No, we this is going to be the annual yes. Zumba day. Yes. Uh, it's going to be the of... Uh, 25th of May every year. Tafara was Vaya, Vakatu, and they were watching Munzira, Vatana Snakes, Kufamba, Kaka Katsuma Sakanaka, Natsuna Masawa, and the Coca Cola, Natsu Kuede, Ravu Mania Mania, Trust Goods, Rasma for my students, Intersage Corrosion, she should have been watching, she does in my grounds, and you are good for there, my grounds. What I really wanted to say is about the pool. Uh -huh. um, the state of the pool is not very impressive. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I must say, but it's really disappointing. If you can do something about it, maybe we can be very happy. And did it? In the squash court as well. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, I don't know what way to use, but they have a very, very poor state. Extremely poor. State. Good idea that students come back. Yeah, former students. Why? Um, because I think we, are, we can socialize with them and we can learn something from them. What happened uh, back in the days? This has been a very big event in the Tafara School. And we to to my former students. We are to retire. We are going to retire. We are to retire. We are to retire. We are to retire. We to to We are to 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 to
I think you have been to the fields. Uh -huh. You have seen the status of the fields. Because as old students, you should do something. Even if you move around the hostels, in, in this kitchen, you can see the cookers, they are very old. We need new equipment, move on with technology. You know, they are using manual instead of using electrical appliances. So maybe as old students, you can do something to assist us. I am Maud Mabela. I came to Marondra High School in Form 1 in 1987, left at the end of Form 4 1990 to take up uh, an amazing opportunity as a Rotary Exchange student overseas and so that is where I finished my, my high school education. Right. Former students should, are encouraged to join the Alumni Trust um, because it has been set up for two purposes. Number one, to bring together the community of former students who share common heritage of having been students at various times in, in the school. And secondly, to give back to where we came from, to give back in terms of time, expertise, whatever resources we have, to make the school not only as good as it was when we were there, but even better to meet standards of high schools today. Recommendations, encouragement. Because from Ibi Magoy of my age is Pana. Hi, Wagashama. Uras, Urukanot ones, Vana. All right, let me say something about the trust. If my memory serves me right, I am the one who drafted and set up the trust. That's all I want to say about it. So what, what, what are you guys doing to make sure that there is a follow-up? Could you want to join a trust? No, I think people are joining quite a lot. I, I, my understanding is with your own Facebook and all those things, there are quite a, there's quite a huge number of people who, have, who are now members. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know the, how is it that you get people to, to join. It's either you, you have an interest in the school where you went to or you don't and you can't exactly force someone to come. Uh, but I, I see these events being something that if they can be done even twice, three times a year, you know, and clearly I also think this is also about advertising. How do you advertise and ensure that people know about it? Because I'm sure some people are not here, not because they don't want to come, but simply because they are not aware that there is something like this that's, that's happening. Uh, but you need to talk to the trustees about that one, not me. I love Marandira High. It's the school in my heart. Um, who 
blessings and your moment to speak on, on our behalf and to thank you for acknowledging uh, the invitation. Teachers, uh, colleagues, friends, I just want to say it's absolutely amazing. It's an investment. It's an investment for ourselves and for those who are going to come. It's empowering people in the most amazing way. For life, you will never lose it. So thank you for doing this for our children, for us. And uh, we hope to see a lot more. Thank you very much. by the former students of the high school and as uh, such you should feel free and enjoy yourself. Uh, we should after the vote of thanks, I think we will take you to Nyani for some boat riding and after that we will then drive back to school. Thank you. I want to thank the head uh, for giving me an opportunity to give a, a vote of thanks um, on behalf of Maroni High School staff. We feel so much honored, appreciated, recognized, especially in our efforts in terms of our contributions to the success of our students and especially in their results. And it is also quite a terrific day. Uh, we've met with some students uh, whom we've never seen for a long time. And the owner of this place was reminding me that he was always running away from me, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the time I came with Maroon and I, I was a really disciplinarian and, and thank you for that. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm going to refine in terms of instilling discipline, especially after such a treat, because it bears good fruits. I want to thank you for my students for appreciating and recognizing uh, us in such a way. And this is a classical place and I uh, want to thank you. I've never been here myself, and I want to thank you for such a treat on behalf of the staff. very receptive, accommodating, um, and promotive of the Alumni Trust as it is. Current students should take an active interest because one of the reasons why we exist is to benefit them and their current education. Current parents also um, are benefiting from the work we're doing, so I would like to see them supporting by attending the events that we hold, supporting by we yeah, by, are by largely attending the events that we hold um, for them. School has really gone down and this is a lot of hope. Do you know that the squash court that was down there, no, sorry, the tennis court that were down there no longer there. Yeah, I remember uh, you used no. to play tennis. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think Mrs. K would used to come here and, 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 and coach tennis. They used to have a tournament here. Yeah. I think at, uh, from Friday, Saturday, up to Sunday. This is the tournament that was held down at these clay courts, but they're not there. We need to revive them. So, what do you think needs to be done on the ground? Like the real well, firstly, I think I think we start small. Let me grow. Every Thursday, kids should come for manual labor and start meeting. You know, we used to do that when we were here, if you remember. I know you used to meet the, yeah. the manual labor group, the captain for manual labor. Isn't <laughs> That's different now. <laughs> <laughs> to be here, very happy to be seeing. Um, fellow students, students who came before us, who came after us, but I think what we need to do is to work together to build this school, 
Uh, an alumni is one of the strongest things the school can have. So let's use the alumni to make Marondra better, better than when we're here. Yes, in some way it's making sense, but we need to engage the headmaster so that he talks to he talks to the executive, our alumni executive, and they. They make the school better. Because the swimming pool, I've been to the swimming pool and the school, there's no swimming pool here. The squash courts, they need to be refurbished. Those who came before us, after us, be one family. A family is made up of well, it's more like an umbrella. But there are a couple of things that I'm not happy about. Look at our fields. Our fields, what they were 20 years ago and today. What's the reason? Why are they like that? The school administration should, should, should do something towards that. Uh, toward, towards, uh, towards maintaining, to maintaining the fields. Like now, we've got a challenge here in Mvura, in this school. Wisconsin is not pumping enough water into the system, so we have had to rely uh, on bore water. But unfortunately, our recent efforts uh, have brought in little water than we had uh, anticipated. It was where the school has sunk almost three bores outside the school premises. It's about a kilometer away from the school. Uh, we, are, we are getting a little water. And we, we hope maybe the students will chip in and help us a lot. And along, along the same lines again, we, I think due to the financial difficulties that we are having, maybe as a school and maybe as a country at large, it uh, I think it needs a lot of uh, funding. Because we tried, uh, but I think it was a lot of funding. And we also hope that if the students can come in and make my pledges like my hostels, Karaikara, if the borders, because I think tiling is, is uh, I see now from my among my hostels, and even my classrooms again, we expect all the data I want the classroom furniture, and then Rinani was, yes, it's there, but. Saka Chirukune Sapana by Inya Mfura, data on my balls, I got one day. Otherwise, Daddy Macron's Ashton Gori Green, Sushakanga Shuita. 
the challenges the alumni is faced is that it's it's a young body we are building up databases we're building up our networking platform and that takes time um, second major challenge is, is, is resources especially financial resources the alumni trust needs to see more of its members perhaps giving a little bit more freely so that we can carry out the work we need to do. I believe uh, like we are hitting below the belt. But I believe in the coming in of the old students, maybe a lot will be done uh, to improve maybe things we are doing now. I think that's uh, the short and long. Of the I'm Peter Sintenye and I was in 1981 to 1981. Oh, really? What about the board? Okay, you haven't said it. Okay, hi, I'm Trisha Kata. I was here from 2006 to 2011. Emilia, for me it was... Uh, I had a lot of experiences. I used to be called out at every um, mid-term assessment. I used to win all the prizes and I used to play basketball as the captain, volleyball as the captain, athletics. I used to play every. The staff, the staff, what we can say to all students, we promise them to, if they give us their full support, then we'll do everything in our own capacity. The school units will get a payanga in shape. Okay. Yeah, what do you want to see happen here? Okay. The pool! Yes, yes. we need to help fix the pool. These kids need the pool. I think it's something that they need. I remember this one time, we tried to fix it, but Yaka is way tighter than yes. But we need to fix the pool. I think for now, I think I would concentrate on that. I would want to help with the pool. Okay. It's the same thing. I would want the pool because. I came here, it was not functioning. I left, it wasn't functioning. And now it's not functioning. We need to do something about that. Cool. I feel like we should, we should just do something about the whole sporting yeah, area, like the fields and the. Because it still looks the same. Yeah, it's it does. Better. Yeah, it's a better. Yeah. What's it called? Oh, no, 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 Want to the name okay. of the rugby um, I can't I, remember. <laughs> yeah. I went to the dumps today and there was no water. Maybe if we could fix like borehole for every hostel, I think that would be great. Because there's no water right now and I think there was no water with me. Yes, I can't think the water. standards generally have gone down. Yes. Oh yeah, they, they have. have. Yes, they they have. have. No, they've gone down. Yes. 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 Water was there, like almost over yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a former student at Maron High School. I did my O-level in 1987 and A-level in 1988. Uh, it's very nice to be here seeing old faces, but I can see that the school needs a lot and I'm encouraging all former students to chip in in cash or kinds. It will help. So we want to encourage them to There are a lot of areas and if we help, that old former <laughs> I think uh, we, are, we are going to learn something from them, some the traditions they used to do mm -hmm. when they were still here and maybe copy some things or maybe adjust what they used to do. Okay, what, what's the name? What's your name? Anes Umranda. Anes, yes, and you? Um, I think it's a good idea anyway that we get to learn what happened around the school back in the days and get to note the differences from then. <laughs>